Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to Apron Strings. This morning, I'm going to make the sourdough bread that's with the potato flake starter. I have actually fed mine four times, so I'm going to see if it rises, and I mean, I'll show y'all what happens, but I think it's bubbly enough that it'll be ready to be my leavening, so I'm going to get over to the mixer and get it mixed up, and I'll just let y'all stand around and watch me mix it. Let's get over to the uh, Bosch mixer. Okay, y'all, the process was we brought the, the starter out and fed it and let it sit on the counter 12 hours. So now I'm ready to make my bread, and I've already got six cups of bread flour in there, and I need a half cup of sugar. I need a tablespoon of salt. Remember, this is for three loaves. Spoon of salt, a half cup of corn oil, I need a cup of my starter, and I like to shake it and get the potato flakes all mixed up because sometimes they want to settle. So I'm going to do a cup of my starter. Get that in. I need one and a half cups of warm water, and that's just water about like you would bathe the baby in. Just warm. And I'm going to mix this real well, and then I'm going to put it in an oiled bowl, and it's going to sit out on the counter for 10 to 12 hours. This is a 10 to 12 hour process. Okay, I've mixed it until it's mixed really well, so I'm going to get my bowl and oil it, and we'll get it in the bowl cover it and let it rise uh, and it'll about take about 10 to 12 hours. Here's a sticky dough that is easy to work with. I'm just getting it out of the bowl. And I oiled my bowl with a little bit of corn oil because that's the kind of oil that's in the bread. I don't think it would affect it if you use something else. Took my um, I stuck two pieces of the clean wrap together because, well, I didn't oil up the sides of the bowl to begin with because I'm going to put cling wrap over it and I don't want it sticking. So now my bowl's all oiled and my dough is down in the bottom. So I'm going to put my saran wrap over it, or it's not saran wrap, that's a, it's my cling wrap that I bought at Costco. And I'll lay one piece on the edge on top of the other one before I spray it with Pam so they'll stick together. Leave a little bit of room in case it rises real tall. And then I will be baking this. Actually, it's 1030 here, so anywhere from 9 to 1030 tonight, I'll be putting it, I'll divide it out into three loaf pans and let it set until 10 o'clock in the morning. It should be ready to bake, but y'all will see everything on one little video, just like if I go from one step to the other. Aren't you lucky? Alrighty, I'm going to get on with my rat killing, and I'll be back when it's time to put it in pans, and I'll see y'all then. Okay, y'all, my dough has risen, and it's been about 9 or 10 hours. Maybe you know. I did it at 10 this morning, I think. I don't know. It's after 9 o'clock anyway, and it's, it's done pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to knead it in the bowl just a little bit. Now years ago when I made this, I would simply divide it in three parts and put it in the pan and let it rise. But I'm going to work it just a snitch. Man, it rose good because I've got quite a bit of air coming out of it. That's good. I'm just doing it kind of like you do the fold over on sourdough, which you 
I'm just doing it just to see if it'll make it rise better. That's what I'm doing. Let me see if I can get the camera over here where y'all can see my hands. <clears throat> it's very sticky. But I'm just, I had oil in the bowl, so I'm just doing it like a quarter turn, just folding it, just to give it a little bit of something. Get a little bit more oil on my hands, and I'm going to divide it in three parts, as close as I can to just equal. And I'm just going to shape it kind of into a loaf. Put it in the pan. Maybe. More oil on it. And once I put it in the pan, I'm going to uh, roll it just like I did in the bowl to oil it all over. Now when I made this before, I never got a real tall rise out of it. I just, it just tastes so good. It's so different. So I've got one more loaf here. I'm going to put it in there and give it a roll around, flip it around, and try to stretch it out as much as I can to fill the pan, but it'll fill out when it rises. Y'all remember that we have uh, another 12 hour lapse here. So, tomorrow, about tomorrow morning, about 9 or 10 o'clock, I'll be baking it. <clears throat> and I can't wait to taste it because it's so good. Okay, I've got three loaves here. And I will uh, cover them. And I'll be back in the morning and show y'all my bread and we'll bake it. I'm just going to cover it with this same wrap, and then I'll get you one more piece to keep it from drying out. And I'm not going to probably put it in the oven. I'm just going to let it rise here because it's a long rise. And I'll cover that one, and I'll see y'all in the morning. Okay, my bread has risen, and I've got my oven preheating to 350, and I will bake them at 350 for 30 to 40 minutes. And I let it rise again for 12 hours, so it's a 12-12-12 situation. You feed your starter and let it set 12 hours, 10 to 12 hours. I just do 12. Then you mix your dough and you let it set for 12 hours and then you divide it into your three loaves and you let it rise for 12. Okay y'all, I got my bread out of the oven and it has cooled. I got three loaves, and I want you to look at the crumb on it. It's pretty. It doesn't make a real thick bread. Next time I make it, instead of three loaves, I'm going to do um, two loaves and see if I can get bigger loaves. But I was pleased with it, and the taste is just like I remembered. It's so good. So if y'all are making your sourdough starter, if you've made it and you've fed it, I fed mine four or five times before I made bread. So you need to discord a cup of it before you feed it. And then, you know, feed it and then make your bread and put the rest back in the icebox to make another loaf. If you have any questions, you can email me. Um, and I'll be glad to answer, if I can, any questions about it. This is the potato flake sourdough starter bread. Hey y'all, this has been a busy day for me. I have put up 18 pints 
a 14 quarts of carrots today. I'm pleased with the turnout. Every one of them sealed and I'm just tickle pink and I'm tired. I've got some potatoes to do, still those potatoes I got at Kroger. But I did the carrots first because they wouldn't keep as long for me. I didn't have a big refrigerator to put them in. Uh, it's my potatoes I keep out of the icebox. So, I hope y'all are going to make you a loaf of the bread or to make three loaves. And uh, I'm going to try next time making two loaves and see if I get taller loaves. This is as tall as I've ever gotten when I used to make it years ago. Um, I always did three loaves because that's what the little article that Sister Etheridge gave me said, and that was the instructions. And hers didn't rise anymore either because she'd bring it to church and give it to people. But I'm going to try doing two loaves and see if it makes two bigger loaves. Because it's only, what, six cups of flour? So a loaf of bread can easily have three cups of flour in it. So I'm going to try making two loaves instead of three. If I think about it, I'll tell y'all how it turns out. But anyway, I'm going to uh, get out of this kitchen and off my feet and rest a spell. And then I hope tomorrow evening I can get my potatoes canned. Get you some stuff put up. Every report that I hear gets a little bit worse. So just be prepared and then you won't be in a panic and you won't be hungry. That'll be two good things. Do your part and trust the good Lord to help you to be wise with what you've put away and use it sparingly and, and make it last a long time. I'm going to go and uh, get the rest of my day's work finished and then I'm going to go to bed early tonight. And I'll see y'all again in a day or two and we'll have something else. I've got a really good recipe for a chicken casserole that I'm going to do probably tomorrow for our supper tomorrow night and I'll video it so y'all will be seeing that pretty soon. The good Lord bless and keep you. Come right back here to the butcher block and we'll see what we can do together.